guys welcome or welcome back to my channel if you can tell i am filming this intro on my phone because i was just sitting here reading deciding to start this video and my camera's upstairs charging and i want to make sure it's charged so i'm sorry if the quality is not my camera but we're just gonna have to deal with it for right now but i decided to do a reading vlog if you've watched my previous videos i was in a bit of a slump with the addicted series and the Kelly sisters and everything like that so i decided to take a break just finished the honey don't list which will be the upcoming what i read in whatever month video i don't know which one what i'm gonna do yet but yeah so i'm currently reading new books and i just finished that one so i am now reading without merit by colleen hoover and then right after i'm gonna read my policeman which is the movie that's coming out so i decided to do a reading vlog we're just gonna hang and read i'm gonna read this one hopefully finish it tomorrow fingers crossed and then or i mean there's a possibility i could finish it today if i just sit and really read but i get distracted so easily but that and then my policeman i'm gonna read also in this vlog so it's gonna be a fun two-in-one vlog i'm not gonna do any spoilers or anything so if you haven't read these books it's it's fine, you'll just get my reactions, we'll talk, we'll hang out. I made some coffee and I have a late start. I wanted to start early this morning, but I had a dentist at 10. I literally didn't get out till like 11 something. So it's now 11.40 and I am on page 52. This, if you haven't read it, which I honestly don't see this really in many places, but the back doesn't really give too much away. It just says basically their family has secrets and Marriott, which is the main character, like the point of view, she decides to shatter their happy family or something like that. I don't know. It's not like any other Colleen book I've read, which I said that about like Verity and Layla but like this is like that kind of vibe like you don't know what's gonna happen it's not a, like a romance at least not yet I don't know but I literally I've only heard like three people read this as one person didn't like it two people like absolutely loved it so I'm excited to see my opinion I know I'm gonna love the writing of it because Colleen just she does it to me but I just like how like, I have no idea what's gonna happen like usually when I read the back of the books like I have the plot I have the background the first few pages of the character and then like I know what basically the essence of what's gonna happen but like with Colleen like I have I literally don't know where this is gonna go it's a little bit weird if you've read it like you know it's like kind of weird but yeah that's what's going on right now i'm gonna just try to read to like 100 pages right now and then see where we go from there i just thought we could just hang out and read if you're reading we could read together so during my little time lapses of me reading you could pick up your book back to reading <laughs> I'm still like like i don't know where this book is gonna go i like i have a thought of where it could possibly go like something that i i feel like i know is gonna happen but i have no idea it's just like there's a lot of people in this book so it's like her family and they're all have their own thing and then now there's like a another person just got involved i don't really know how to explain it but i'm just trying to like make predictions i guess i don't usually like predicting books because like some books i read are kind of obvious the ending and like i don't want to guess it and be right and then i don't know i don't love predicting but i just like I have no idea what's gonna happen. And I think that's why I'm like loving it. So I like like the mystery aspect of it. Like you don't know what's gonna happen. And just Colleen's writing always gets me. Like I can just like speed through her books. Like I never get bored. I think there's like 362 pages. So let's see how many I have left. 223. That's all I have right now. It's my little reading vlog update. But I'd say it's good so far. I, I just don't know where it's gonna go. So that's all I have. I'm gonna continue reading.
Okay guys, I just randomly took a selfie in my mirror because I thought that it would be cute and I don't think I should have done that because now I'm distracted with Instagram. I got to page 188. I'm on 188. Something big just happened. I'm not gonna say it obviously, but it's like, I don't know where this book is going, but like every other chapter, it's like something is happening. But I think it's just like in general, like, I don't know, the family is just so messed up and like there's each one has like a huge secret and like secrets that Merit like knows because she knows all the secrets because like things just happen and she ends up like being the one that holds all the secrets i don't know if that makes sense but whatever there's so many secrets and it's like another one just came out so i don't know how this book could possibly end but it's getting crazy it's definitely entertaining it's more of like an entertainment read it's not like a romance i love colleen's romances and then her thrillers were like barity was insane layla was a little bit crazy but this one's just like different you know and i, I don't know what maybe that's why not a lot of people like read it or like pick it up because it's not the type of books that they read by colleen but I'm very happy that I picked it up and I'm reading it because I think it's really good I just I don't fully know what's going on. I mean, no, I know what's going on I just don't like know where it's gonna go because like anything could really happen That's all I have right now. I just wanted to say that I am a bit distracted I also ran out of pink little stickies because I've been using pink for this book since like there's pink on it I don't know but I just ran out of my last pink So I think I'm gonna move on to yellow see if like they would look cute together. We need to get more stickies this weekend. Okay back to reading to 28 like a lot just happened like a lot just happened and i feel like this is something like what just happened i feel like it's something that would happen at like the end of the book like it was like crazy like that so now i'm like okay i have like 130 pages left almost what's gonna happen now like what could possibly happen that takes up that much time and i think i know where it's going it's like switching a little if i'm right about what's gonna happen then i am very very excited but yeah that's my uh my update i'm gonna try to get to like 300 i'll be back and i will update next so let's see how far i get Okay, so kind of what I thought was gonna happen did happen. I'm almost on page 300. I've been reading literally since I got home this morning. And honestly, it feels good not to be in a slump and now that I'm able to read more than like 10 pages and not get like bored or whatever. So that feels nice, makes me feel better. But yeah, I'm going to now continue reading. I didn't take a break. I just turned my camera on. I need to get up to stretch my legs. What I did expect to happen, I think I said in the last clip, it happened and I knew it was going to but then something else happened and it's like not exactly what i thought as per usual with colleen but i kind of expected this part to come so that's all i got i'm gonna keep going i'm praying that i finish this within the hour i think i have about let's see i'm on 263 so i have about 100 pages and i think i could finish it it's 354 right now so i think i could finish it by like five i'm hoping it's now almost five o'clock like i said i was hoping to get to page 300 by then and i did but right now I'm gonna go eat dinner. I'm going to eat with Chris. So I'm taking a break. So sadly I am finishing on a cliffhanger a very big one that I really would love to figure out but I need a break. I'm on page 300. Hopefully I'm gonna finish it later and then we're gonna start my policeman which I'm so excited about because that's gonna be a movie. That's my update. I will be back. I don't know. Probably later. Hi guys. So it's the next day. I finished Without Merit last night and I rated it a four and a half out of five. Well a four out of five on Goodreads. But that book I cried at a certain part towards the end. I love the ending. I love how everything comes together in Colleen's books. It was just very like well-rounded for me. Like I just, I don't know, I really liked it. It was all very different from anything like I've read. Maybe that's why, but it was really good. I'll do like a full detail thoughts and stuff on it when I do like what I read in February or whatever video I do. Cause I didn't read a lot this month, but I also started My Policeman last night. I didn't get very far cause it was pretty late when I finished Without Merit. So I got to page eight. <laughs> I got a little confused on which character harry's was so i was reading it wrong the first couple pages so then i looked it up and then i had to go back and restart it seems interesting it seems more i don't know i haven't gotten far so i can't really give a full thought yet but i'm gonna read a little more and then today i have a big little reveal for getting my g little actually my little is getting a little so i'm not gonna be able to read for a little that's it <laughs> how many times can i say little but i'm not gonna be able to read for a bit so i'm gonna read now get ready i guess go to school like grab coffee and stuff read a bit until i have to go to the thing it's at 11:45. i think i have to be there and it's nine o'clock so 
Okay, bye. Hi guys, I don't remember the last time we talked, but I started this yesterday. It's the next day, clearly. Actually, I don't know if you could tell, but it is the next day. Got home yesterday from like the big little stuff at like 6 p.m. and I was so tired. I read a good amount like before bed, but I only got to page 74. So I'm hoping to read a lot more today. I do have classes all day long, but I'm bringing my book with me. I'm gonna go to a coffee shop by school and just like see if I have time to read and stuff. Yeah, I'm on page 74. My first initial thoughts are like, it kind of reminds me of when I was reading The Seven Husbands because it's taking place in the 1950s and Seven Husbands was in like the 1900s or whatever and it's like written in like that type of way. I don't know exactly. I don't love books that are taking place at this time. So like it's not my favorite read. I just, I know it's not gonna be. I'm just pushing through because it's gonna be a movie with Harry and picturing Harry as Tom is making it a lot better. Yeah, I'm not loving it. I also, I feel like when I read a book and I know exactly the timeline, not the timeline, but like the plot points a little bit, like I know basically what's gonna happen and come. But this is a little bit different because it's like she She's writing a letter to Patrick, Tom's other lover or whatever it was. So it's kind of different to read it, which I like that it has that aspect where it's not just them telling a story. It's like her writing the history of her and Tom, Mariana and Tom. So that's pretty cool. Those are my thoughts right now. I didn't get to anything crazy. I feel like I don't know if anything crazy is going to happen, but I'm on page 74, like I said, and I am going to school right now. It's actually not nice out, but it's like not brutal out. I will come back with updates or whatever soon. Let's update each other. It's the next day. I had a lot of work to do today. I had a meeting. I had just a lot to do, but I have been reading. I'm on page 142. I don't remember the last time I updated what page I was on, but I'm on 142. Here's the thing. It's boring. I'm just gonna flat out say it, but I think it's because olden times, like the 1900s just don't interest me and just it's boring me. Characters are boring. Their conversations are boring. So we're gonna read them. Next morning, I know I look insane. I literally just showered. It's 9 a.m. But I wanted to give more updates on my policeman and the book because I read quite a bit yesterday. I'm on page 222, 222, which was yesterday's date, which is kind of funny. But there's only 289 pages, which I didn't realize the book feels thicker than 200 pages. But I've been reading it pretty slow because one, it's a school week. Two, it's boring to me. I just, books taken place and written like this and in that era of time bore me. But I will say that I like how it's written from both point of views. I don't know if I said that yesterday, but you have Marion's point of view and you also have Patrick's, but you don't have Tom's, which I like. I like that they're giving their sides to Tom because they're the, both the people that are in relation with Tom, which I like. I like how Marion calls him Tom and Patrick calls him my policeman. I like that. But something happened to Patrick. So there's kind of like a flash forward and a foreshadowing, but there's also like a, what's the word? Flashback. Why couldn't I think of that? But there's a lot of flashback. So it's like mixed both the present day is Marion writing but she also kind of writes to Patrick about her relation with Tom and like everything like that but then it flips to Patrick writing back in the day and like his relation with Tom so I don't know why I just gave you a whole synopsis of the book and what's going on but it made me feel better not loving it but also don't hate it like I personally didn't like the only other books that I kind of read with this type of era are Taylor Jenkins Reads books and like Seven Husbands like this feels better reading it like at least there's like I don't know but I'm gonna try to finish it today so I will get back with future updates Hello guys. Okay, big update. It's now, I believe the last time I spoke was yesterday morning, but I finished the book last night. Don't be like me, but I downloaded it on Z Library. Z Library is like a website where you can download like free books and stuff to your computer, your phone, whatever, for free. And during class, I downloaded my policeman because I had like 30 pages left and I was like, I'm gonna be here for a while. Actually, I think I had like 50 pages left. I don't know, I had a good amount, but it was like towards the end of the book and I just <laughs> really wanted to finish it. So downloaded it, I had two classes, so I ended up finishing the book during class. I don't have it with me right now because it's in my house, but I am going to school, going to class, but I just wanted to tell you guys my thoughts, my ratings and stuff like that, just to let you guys know before I forget about it because I'm starting a new book. Well, I started a new book, but okay, I finished it and I, to be honest, felt nothing. I rated it a three out of five because I thought it was boring, but that's a personal thing because stories written in that era to me just they feel the same and they just feel i don't know i don't love it i thought that every character 
was unlikable. Marion, she was just like basically forcing her marriage to Tom and I felt like that was something that I did not like. I just felt like she she was told that Tom was the way he is and she still was like, no. Tom, I hated him as a character. I know that's Harry's character in the movie so I don't know how I'm gonna feel watching it but I did not like his character at all. And then Patrick was just to me annoying. So I know that might be an unpopular opinion. I don't really know. I know this has good ratings on Goodreads but I was reading the ratings when I was finished and I saw this one rating and review and I was like, this is what I felt. And she basically had the same views as me, how the characters weren't that likable, how Marianne was, in lack of a better word, a bitch. So yeah, the thing that I did like was the way the story went. Like you got a flashback in Marianne's writing and she was basically writing to Tom and for the reason that she was doing it was really sweet, I guess. I don't know. And then you got Tom's point of view. And then I thought there was gonna be like a twist at the end. There wasn't a twist at the end. I don't know why I thought there was gonna be a twist. I don't know who told me that or where I, I might've made that up, but there wasn't a twist. I could have seen it coming. I didn't like the ending. I felt like there could have been a whole other like chapter to kind of describe what happened after it ended. And I wish I knew how it went once it ended. Like I wanna know what came from that. It felt unfinished to me. And yeah, not my favorite book, but we could have seen this coming knowing that I was gonna read a book in that era. That was that. Probably gonna include it in what I read in February at some point, but I thought this reading vlog would be fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts on the books or any other books you want me to do a reading vlog with. I am now reading Second First Impressions by Sally, was it Sally Thorne? I get Sally Rooney and Sally Thorne confused all the time, but this is what I'm reading 30, 40 pages in. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you hopefully in the next one. Bye.